let us talk about aircraft maintenance forms and publications. An airworthiness directive, commonly abbreviated as AD, is a notification to owners and operators of certified aircraft that a known safety deficiency with a particular model of aircraft, engine, avionics or other system exists and must be corrected. If a certified aircraft has outstanding airworthiness directives that have not been complied with, the aircraft is not considered airworthy. Thus, it is mandatory for an aircraft operator to comply with an AD. ADs are legally enforceable rules issued by the FAA, in accordance with 14 CFR Part 39, to correct an unsafe condition in a product. 14 CFR Part 39 defines a product as an aircraft, aircraft engine, propeller, or appliance. Here are some examples of an AD. You can see some recommendations for improvements or corrective actions to be implemented by the holder of the Certificate of Airworthiness. Non-compliance with an AD would be in violation of the terms of issuance of the airworthiness certificate, resulting in its invalidation, which leads to grounding of the said aircraft. There are three basic types of AD, namely. The NPRM, the final rule, and the emergency AD. The standard AD process is to issue an NPRM followed by a final rule. After an unsafe condition is discovered, a proposed solution is published as an NPRM which requests public comment on the proposed action. After the comment period closes, the final rule is prepared by taking into account all substantive comments received. Meanwhile, there are also incidents where critical nature of an unsafe condition may warrant the immediate adoption of a rule without solicitation from the public. This is where emergency AD usually comes from, and the intention is to rapidly correct an urgent safety of flight situation. All known owners and operators of affected aircraft or those who are known to have an affected product installed will be sent a copy of an emergency AD. Within 30 days of the emergency AD issue date, a final rule AD identical to the emergency AD will normally be published in the Federal Register to make it accessible to the public. European Union Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, has a similar process to that of FAA above, except that the ESA issues proposed airworthiness directives, PAD, to consult for public comments before making final rule instead of NPRM. Do you know any other types of maintenance forms? Let us know in the comments section below, also be sure to check our other videos, the supplemental type certificate. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.